Hello, I'm Walt Richardson. Jesse Valenzuela joins us on this special edition of Songwriters Showcase. Tempe native Jesse Valenzuela started his musical career right here on Mill Avenue. He's the founder of the Gin Blossoms. He's also the writer and co-writer of their top 40 hits. It's a pleasure to have him on the Songwriter Showcase, Jesse Valenzuela. I learned guitar early, and I played at the uh, uh, 12 o'clock mass at St. Daniel's uh, for my grandmother. My father and mother asked me to, so I did that for a couple of years, and that was good training. And then um, I started playing in bands by the time I was 15, and we were playing in bars ever since. Before I get too old, do as I please, for I do what I'm told. Can you handle that? Can you handle Before I get this phone, and I'll see who it is before I see if I'm home. Can you handle that? Help me slip into my bulletproof jacket. I always feel so good, my bulletproof jacket. I can't do the underneath, can't handle the words with all the spit and the teeth. Your edges smooth, real smooth. Oh, patience stretches so thin. I wish I was gone, crawling out of my skin, putting all the skin on, so I could stand so close to you. Help me slip into my bulletproof jacket. I always feel so good, my bulletproof jacket. So soft to the touch, who oh, never hurts me too much, my bulletproof jacket. Slip into my bulletproof jacket. I always feel so good. My bulletproof jacket. And what was soft to the touch will oh, never hurt me too much. My bulletproof jacket.
there was uh, Doug Hopkins and Bill Lane and myself and Richard Taylor, a guitar player here and still here in town, and Chris McCann, a drummer. And that was the first uh, grouping. And that lasted a little while, and then Richard took off, and then we brought Robin in, and then Chris McCann, the drummer, took off. Just as we were voted the best mu music in Phoenix, he split. He moved back to Joplin, Missouri. And uh, he had been really instrumental in the band because he was, he was older than us by maybe five or six years, and we were probably 23 or 24 at the time. So he took on the role as manager, and he really fostered this sort of pirate sensibility in the band that we should quit our day jobs because he told me once, because I was concerned, because I had a little day job, it was part time. And he said, the, the next horrible day job is only 20 feet away from you at any moment in, in your, for the rest of your life, so just quit, you'll be fine, I promise you. So I quit my day job and we just started playing music four or five nights a week and I, it really worked. You know, Tempe, growing up in Tempe was a great place to grow up for a kid. You could have a lot of fun. <laughs> Couldn't get too much trouble. Coronado High, of course. But my mother used to say to me, you know, wait. Just wait till you have your own kid. Just you wait. So um, I have this song. It's called The Original Messed Up Kid. And I wrote it for a TV show a few years ago. It's my mother's... Uh, Words coming to fruition. You don't want to act your age. That crying jack was just a stage. You some looked at your age. Child, be patient. Cause you're the original messed up kid. Doesn't matter, girl, what you did. But don't grow up so fast, it's not in your last. Oh, yeah, you're the original messed up kid. A fragile girl with a crooked smile. Every day you want to change your style. Your mama prays you ain't running wild. Child, be patient Stealing smokes and acting tough The teacher says that she's had enough But you're a diamond in the rough Child, be patient Cause you're the original messed up kid It doesn't matter, girl, what you did Well, don't grow up so fast It's not at your last Oh yeah, you're the original messed up kid Up kid, it doesn't matter, girl, what you did. Well, don't grow up so fast, it's not at your last. Oh, yeah, you're the original messed up kid. You're the original messed up kid. You're the original. Like a lot of performers in the Songwriters Showcase, Jesse Valenzuela played in a lot of the outlets right here on Mill Avenue, thinking, dreaming, and hoping of one day making it big. And he did just that, co-writing and producing with Stevie Nicks, The Call, The Rembrandts, and Kiss. It's a pleasure to have him on stage. 
Let's listen to some more of Jesse Valenzuela. When you see a movie about any kind of performer who makes it, and then all of a sudden they're on the big national TV show and they show the family all gathered around with the pizza and they're going to watch the show and they're all excited. And I mean, that's probably it the first time something like that happens if you get on a David Letterman or Jay Leno show and you call your parents and they're beside themselves with excitement and pride. Uh, and then you do that show and it's absolutely terrifying to do it. And it's over in a, in a moment's time because you're only playing a song that's three minutes and your adrenaline's flowing. You get off and you think, did I really sing it right? Or did I? And then you, you watch it that night in the hotel room. That, because I remember to a man, everybody said, I'll never be afraid of anything again in my life. Because it was, it seems so hard. And you, once you get that done, it's like, I'll never have stage fright again. Anyways, Mark Zuby is a great friend of mine, and we've written a lot of songs together over the years. And we're going to sing this one. It's called Hotel Defeated. And uh, Mark's going to sing it for you because he's a wonderful singer. I'm singing. Marco Silvia. Thank you. We have made two new records in the last three or four years, 
And there were some expectations in the band that maybe we could get back on radio and become a big hit again. And I didn't want to throw cold water in anyone's, um, you know, um, hopes. But I figured never, because the radio belongs to Lady Gaga and, and uh, young bands and rock and roll. And, and it should, you know, God bless the boy band and God bless Lady Gaga and doing her outfits and because uh, we had it. I mean, Elton John, what was he if he wasn't Lady Gaga, you know? I mean, he didn't wear a meat suit, but granted, but it was only 1972 or 74. There were no meat suits available at that time. But I think that making records, and I make solo records too, and they're never going to have this sort of economic impact that my early work did, but it keeps me in line with people my age who still enjoy music and want to go see it. And if I play a club and, uh, you know, there's a hundred people there, well, I think that's great. And they're going to buy some records and we're all going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it together. And I just want them to have a comfortable place to listen to music. Um, maybe take the wife out for Thai food and get away from the kids for a couple hours. Because we're all having a good time, you know, and uh, I'm not 25 anymore. In addition to performing with the Gin Blossoms, you've no doubt heard Jesse Valenzuela's music in television commercials, TV programs, and feature films. This makes him one of the most successful artists on stage in our songwriter series. Let's give some more listen to his music. Jesse Valenzuela. I'm not above writing jingles. <laughs> um, I write jingles and I, I sing on TV shows and stuff. Uh, Advertising, I've done everything from like uh, super cinnamon sugar crisp coating coffee syrup to um, AARP commercials to the Masters Golf um, Tournament I did a song for. Um, the Olympics, the Summer Olympics I wrote the theme song for, or one of the theme songs for it. And I'm uh, proudly and happily, if I'm watching TV in a hotel room and flicking around the 500 channels, I'll hear a couple songs of mine in movies. And that's great because that sort of back end money keeps my, my, that's the glue that keeps my life in balance. All right, here's a song. Uh, it was a big hit for the Jim Blossoms. And I wrote it with a great friend of mine named Marshall Crenshaw. It's not so bad to go to college first. I think that's a good idea. Um, it'll give you a wealth of knowledge that you won't get just knocking around bars. It'll get you there a little quicker because the, the education's a good thing. Um, and there's plenty of time, so don't worry that you gotta be there when you're 19. You can be there when you're 21 or 22. I would say work as much as you can and start writing songs early. And if you don't wanna be in a band, uh, just play acoustic. You don't have to be in a band. That's what I tell my son. Don't be in a band, just become a songwriter. My wife worries he's gonna wind up playing drums or something and they don't make any money. <laughs> I didn't ask, you shouldn't have told me At first I laughed, but now It's sinking fast, whatever they sold me Well, baby, I don't want to take advice from fools I just figure everything is cool Until I hear it from them It gets hard, and memories fade Who gets what they say? It's likely that they're jealous and jaded Well, baby, I don't want to take advice from fools I just figure everything is cool Till I hear it from them Till I hear it from them, you oh, 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 oh. I can't let it get me off Or break up my chain of thought As far as I know, nothing's wrong Until I hear from you Still 
thinking about not living without it. Outside looking in till we're talking about not walking around it. I don't want to take your advice from fools I'll just figure everything is cool Until I hear it from you oh, 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 oh. Until I hear it from you oh, 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 oh. Until I hear it from Well, we had a manager once from Bill Graham up in San Francisco, and he told us, you know, you guys really have to enjoy your life, and hopefully you can get to a point where you can be perennials, and you can work every summer and work hard, uh, because kids want their own heroes. And by the time you hit 40, uh, which I'm nine years past, um, you're not going to be a kid's hero anymore, and you're not going to be on the David Letterman show anymore. But if you play your cards right and you work hard, you can play music for the rest of your life. So I always, under, I always thought that was pretty wise of him to say. Thanks very much. Sure, appreciate it. I had a good time. We'll see you next year, hopefully. Hey, y'all, give him some love. Jesse, stay here for a second. Y'all, give him some love. Jesse Valenzuela. Thank you for joining me for this special edition of the Songwriter Showcase. For more information about the Songwriter Showcase, walk-in Wednesday open mic nights, or the various magnificent programs taking place at the Tempe Center for the Arts, log on to their website, tempe.gov. Till we meet again, keep playing, keep writing, keep jamming.